Hello students, welcome to Shourav Sir Classes. Today in this video, we will be solving question number 6, question number 7 and question number 8 from the model question paper of SAT examination. So if you are preparing for scholastic assessment test, we will suggest you to watch this video and also watch our previous videos on these SAT model question paper solutions. So starting with the question number 6, which of the following is the sum of the given two polynomials shown above? So these are the two polynomial equations 3x square minus 5x plus 5x plus 2 and 5x square minus 2x minus 6. So the sum of these two will be 3x square plus 5x square that will be 8x square minus 5x plus minus 2x that will be minus 7x and plus 2 minus 6 that will be plus 2 minus 6 that will be minus 4 so 8x square minus 7x minus 4 will be the summation of these two polynomials hence option a is correct for question number 6 now coming to the question number 7 if 3 by 5w is equal to 4 by 3 so what is the value of w so 3 by 5w is equal to 4 by 3 means 4 by w is equal to 4 by 3 into 5 by 3 so w is equals to 20 by 9 hence option d is correct for question number 7 w is equals to 20 by 9 next question question number 8 the average number of students per classroom at central high school from 2000 to 2010 can be modeled by the equation y equals to 0.56x plus 27.2 where x represents the number of years since 2000 and y represents the average number of students per classroom. So which of the following best describes the meaning of the number 0.56 in the classroom? So which of the following represents the 0.56 figure? So 0.56 into x where x represents the number of years and total y represents the total number of stud average change in stu number of students. So 0 0.56 is basically the estimated increase per year of number of students. 0 0.56 is estimated increase per year because 0 0.56 into x is the change in change in number of average students per year. So 0 0.56 is the estimated increase in average number of students. Hence, option C says that the estimated increase in the average number of students per classroom each year represents by the 0 0.56 term, which is correct option for question number 8. So we will also solve question number 9 in this video. So question number 7 was done, 8 also done. Now coming to the question number 9, net always net works 25 meters in 13.7 seconds. If he works at his at the same rate, which of the following is closest to the distance he will walk in 4 minutes? So in 13.7 seconds, he works 25 meters. So 13.7 seconds is equals to 13.7 divided by 60 minutes this much minutes so in 13.7 divided by 60 minutes net walks 25 meters so in one minute he will walk 25 into 60 divided by 13.7 meter and in 4 minutes he will walk 25 into 60 into 4 divided by 13.7 meter so 25 into 4 is 100 and 60 into 100 is 6000 so 6000 divided by 13.7 meter is our answer 6000 divided by 13.7 so let's say 
let's for the help of the calculation let's say this is 14 so 6000 divided by 14 is equals to 3000 divided by 7 which is approximately 4 430 which is approximately 430 meter so the nearest option for of 430 meter here is option B that is 450 meter also you can calculate 6000 divided by 13.7 directly with the help of calculator but here we have not calculated with the help of calculator we have manually calculated by adjusting 13.7 by approximating 13.7 as 14 and then calculating 6000 divided by 14 which is approximately 430 meter and our answer is hence the nearest of 430 which is 450 here so in this video we have solved four questions 6 7 8 and 9 in the next video we will be solving more questions from the section 4 of the model question paper so if you have any doubt or any queries you can call us in this number 9836 79 3076 or you can send us email also at showrapsar classes at the rate gmail.com thank you keep watching our videos